What is going on, everybody? It is boy, Take Beverages back here. So I'm gonna display my uh, emulator settings right now for uh, Hot Shots Golf 3. Uh, I've gotten quite a few comments on those videos asking me what the emulator settings are. So uh, real quick, these are the actual emulator settings. Uh, we go into config emulation settings. So uh, yeah, first screen right here. This is this the settings I'm running. Uh, I haven't, I really haven't screwed with any of these settings at all. Pretty sure these are mostly default. Uh, the EE slash IOP settings, uh, both these on Recompiler and Motion Engine IOP, both Recompiler. Uh, EE FPU Advanced Recompiler Options, CHOP0 and, or sorry, CHOP slash 0 and Clamping Mode Normal. Uh, really the only time you have to modify Clamping Mode is uh, when you have problems with that hanging and what that is is when the game freezes on loading screens they refer to that they refer to that as a uh, hanging uh yeah really the only time for the modify clamping mode was running 007 nightfire however on this emulator version i'm pretty sure nightfire does not work no matter what you do with the clamping mode now uh it's kind of like uh see you'll you'll see i have uh you know, emulator version 1.0 up there and emulator version 1.6, which we're actually running right here. Uh, emulator version 1.0 is used for running Unreal Tournament because Unreal Tournament does not run properly on 1.6. So, yeah, it's, I don't know. The emulator is, abs is just weird. It's, uh, yeah. So, anyways, VU's micro VU recompiler for the VU0, VU1, also VU uh, micro VU recompiler. And then the uh, advanced free compiler options down here. We're on shop slash zero and at normal once again. And then GS. Uh, I have frame skipping disabled by default. I don't disable frame limiting because, uh, yeah, I just. Yeah, I've never screwed with frame rates or anything. I just, you know, I mostly keep stuff default. I used I used YouTube tutorials to set up the emulator. You know, uh, these are I have literally no speed hacks enabled. Uh, besides uh, the multi-threaded micro V1, I would recommend ticking this box in the micro V U hacks. Recommended if your <coughs> excuse me if your CPU is three plus cores, which most CPUs nowadays are. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, most of those are pretty much default game fixes i don't have any of those any of those selected so yeah i'll just flash them once again basically nothing here and then both of these recompiler micro v recompiler and then both of them normal and chop zero for the clamping mode and the round mode okay now the actual Actual video settings here. So I'm on Direct 3D 11 software. You can select between hardware, software, you know, a whole bunch of fun stuff there. As you can see, I'm running an RTX 2060 for a graphics card. I'm on 1440p as well. Uh, the only thing I've really modified here is. So these are the hardware renderer settings. So to mod to be able to modify these, you have to go in there, go into hardware, and then you can modify all of this. However, that's when you're running hardware mode. So hardware mode is always going to be easier to run games on because it's using your actual PC hardware. What software mode does is it emulates the... Or I, I'm, I'm not... Not exactly 100% on this, so take it with a grain of salt, but I'm pretty sure software mode is more is going to tank your frames more and be harder on your system and be harder to run the game on the emulator uh, because it's trying to emulate more of the uh, native PS2 software rather than directly use your hardware. However, you know, with hardware and software mode, there could be differences in, you know, there could be different visual bugs. For example, if you can look at some of my top videos, it's uh it's a playthrough of black and uh in some of the playthroughs the skybox is black and then in other playthroughs the skybox is normal so if you run the game on hardware mode the skybox will be black 
And then if you run the game on software mode, the skybox is in black, however, it's a lot more taxing on your system. You know, you're going to need a lot better hardware to pr be able to hold proper frames on, uh, on software mode. So, yeah, the only thing I've done with, uh, with hardware mode here is, uh, you know, selected my uh, internal resolution here for uh, 1440p, whatever resolution your monitor is. And, uh, and then I've clicked enable hardware hacks and then uh, advanced settings and hacks. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've done anything in here. And then for software renderer, so for software renderer, the only thing I've done is enable mip mapping right here and then increase the rendering threads from two to three. So these will be at two by default. You're gonna to wanna to increase these to three. And then texture filtering, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure most of these settings are default right here, the interlacing and texture filtering. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing really to screw with in there that's gonna make a difference. Okay, so right here, I have Hotshots Golf selected right here, so we're gonna go ahead and boot it up. I, I really don't think I booted up Hotshots Golf since, since I finished, since I like fully beat the game last time, like beat all the tournaments and beat all the story mode things, you know, all that fun stuff. So, I'm curious to see how this actually runs, but yeah. Uh, the thing about this game, it's, I don't know, this game is ridiculously deceiving. It's, uh, it seems like, you know, it's, it seems like it won't take a lot to run. It seems like it's not a crazy game. However... It is, uh, I don't know, honestly, it is quite the game to run. Bevies of one piece. The menus will run fine, you know. Usually the menus run fine most of the time. You'll go to Singapore and all right here, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll fire up versus mode, trying to unlock some good characters. I'd pick me too, pal. So we're gonna roll up Spike Johnny. Good luck, buddy. Spike here is our opponent. And then uh, one of my favorite courses, a little hot beach resort. And we always select summer because, yeah, ain't nobody got time for golf in the winter and fall. Okay, and as you can see, we're holding some steady frames here. And just to give her a, just to give her a test. There we go. Now, don't mind my shots, goes. Uh, I haven't, I haven't played shot, hot shots golf in a minute. I'm definitely a little rusty here. Oh yeah, definitely a little rusty. This is definitely going in the bunker. Oh, okay, we hit the rock. Just shine a bunch of there. Most unfortunate. Alright, got 157 remaining. 
Let's see if we can nail this. Oh my baby Jesus. This is the complete opposite of nailing it. I don't know what the camera did there. An excellent approach! An excellent approach! You have achieved... The next hole is mine! Alright, and as you can see, we have... We have achieved par. Hey, the next... And we have both par for both people. Um, yeah. I hope these settings helped you out. If you enjoyed the video, let me know down below. I'm going to flash my PC settings real quick. If it doesn't end the video, taking this away from the screen. Because Shadowplay might do that. So it does end the video, so I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, and let me know if you're sending something else out to the world, but it does end the video, and, uh...